Welcome to another podcast from George Eastman House, International Museum of Photography and Film. Hi, I'm Jean Verhulst, Associate Curator of Exhibitions, and it's time to go on the road with George Eastman House. This is a an interesting image because it has figures in it that are that are blurry, almost like ghosts in the picture. And, and that occurs because the long exposure does not capture movement. Anything that is moving is going to either disappear or appear as a sort of a blurred image. And we have one gentleman here who managed to sit through the entire exposure and be almost photographed except for his face. You can tell his feet and his legs and his body, but his head is completely sort of blurry. But it's a beautiful, quiet image. We're in the gallery for Ghosts in the Landscape, Vietnam Revisited, an exhibition by photographer Craig Barber. Craig is a photographer who was in Vietnam as a Marine when he was 18 years old and through the years made photography his life's work. Um, he went back to Vietnam to see what the country was like in a non-war situation. And one of the images that I like a lot is this Buddha uh, where the back of the Buddha is facing us and uh, it's split in the center and it's a whole series of different kinds of Buddhas in this image. Um, it's just a quiet um, sort of spiritual image. Craig Barber photographed using an 8x10 pinhole camera. A pinhole camera is basically a box painted black on the inside with no lens but with a piece of sheet metal with a tiny pinhole and it emits light into the box and you put a simple piece of photographic paper or film in the backside and expose it through that. It requires a very long exposure, minutes, sometimes 10, sometimes 15 minutes long exposure for each image. These images are all black and white. They are platinum palladium printing, which gives them a rich tonality um, from dark blacks to bright whites and um, a sort of velvety texture to them. So all of Craig's work, he's an excellent um, platinum printer. They're, they're all beautiful. Let's walk across the gallery. Uh, I have a favorite over here on this side of the room. This picture is a picture of a rice paddy, a triptych, which means that there are three images that make up the picture. And the rice is growing in rows, and it's called We Moved Across the Paddy. And it has two meanings. It's beautiful just as a picture with some palm trees, a little grove of palm trees in the center of the picture. But the title, We Moved Across the Paddy, conveys what Craig probably felt as he was a Marine going across these same kinds of rice paddies during the Vietnam War. And, and so because of the title, it conveys this eerie, um, sort of scary, in a way, feeling, which is a conflict with the beauty of the image itself. There is a shadow of Craig taking a picture, taking the picture in the photograph, and uh, you just feel that, yes, he was here during the Vietnam War, and, and um, this is now quiet and beautiful and serene, but perhaps when he was there, it was a totally violent, different scene. It's a beautiful image. Craig actually talks about 
the reason he chose pinhole photography is because it is time consuming, the long exposures for each image. He wanted the opportunity to observe the countryside while he was photographing. He also wanted to travel light, a simple box with no lens to worry about being moldy or rained on. And I think he wanted the process of making the photographs to uh, help his own healing of, of what he experienced in Vietnam. I think you would walk away um, from this show with a feeling of peace um, for the most part that this is a soldier who went back to Vietnam who had perhaps some uh, unresolved issues with the war and he found peace. We hope you've enjoyed this Eastman House podcast, and if you'd like to find out more, visit us at eastmanhouse.org. This exhibit has been brought to you with the generous support of Bank of America, Bostick and Sullivan, and Dominion. Thank you. This Eastman House podcast is made possible by the generous support of Midtown Athletic Clubs, a leader in upscale athletic and sports resort management with facilities throughout the U.S. and Canada visit us at midtownclubs.com.